Oh, God is amazing. Ooh. I saw, just the other day, I watched the show about High Up the Hog, and he was in Benin at the gate that I stood at. The gentleman on there did the same thing I did. He broke down the same way I did. And now, mm. when I turned this way, mm -hmm. I said I stood on the shore oh, of Benin. Uh, and then you said this is exactly where they came. Mm. Because mm. mm. they mm. noted there's mm. a long red clay dirt road where the slaves were sorted. The dead slaves were left in the grave. The checking, the medical checks was all along the way. And I'm on the other side pointing back now. Oh. And see, we talk about the history of people. But the history of the land we stand on was a connected piece. All you got to do is push your continents together. That's right. <laughs> That's right. In my dream, we were here in Charleston, and just before you said we were coming, I was nervous about coming because I thought it was going to be a horrible storm. But the horrible storm is like it came right to the edge of the water, dropped down, and became a steady, peaceful. Y'all, there's somebody who's going to have to remember that peace. But when you said 400 years, because I won't lie, that whole Hebrew piece I've been dealing with, I'm like, of course we could be some of the Hebrew, Hebrews. Mm -hmm. And understanding it in a different way. But God is bigger than even our blackness. Mm. He wants us to know that peace is peace. But that storm stood all the way up and until they got to the shore because I was in my dream. It was like a Hurricane Hugo coming. And I'm asking you and your daddy, where can we go? And then, right when the storm gets there, it drops. And it turns into like water coming up on the ground. And when you said 400 years of all that stuff, what we're experiencing here in, this, in the world right now, you don't feel the same. You don't feel the same you did before. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We don't feel the same. We're trying to figure out where to go and what to do with exactly. everybody. Exactly. Exactly. Everybody is. Exactly. And just now when Demet said, straight out, that was the right to right here. Because what happened is the ancestor that stood beside me said, he was telling me, I'm you. I'm you. That's right. And the funny right. thing is, it took right. weeks after I got right. back to school that I stood on a hill and I opened my mouth. My voice didn't come out. I screamed so loud. It was the voice of my ancestor. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Yes. That's in the book. Yes. The voice yes. of my ancestor. And a girl wrote a song to it. Music. Mm -hmm. Dr. Allen. A uh, light-skinned girl that teaches at ITC now, who you need to connect with. Dr. Allen, she got, she remarried. She has another last name. But she made music to the sound that she heard. All I know is they were as far mm -hmm. from me as beyond that fountain, but downhill. Mm -hmm. When my mouth closed, they were right mm -hmm. here. Her and Melba. We are there our ancestors. That's right. We are our ancestors. That's right. Yeah. And it just yeah. keeps coming back to me that too much so. You know, we laugh about it. My my grand, my youngest nephew is just like my grandfather from birth. From the time he could look at clothes, he picked out clothes like my grandfather did. It's the same thing with us. When that person, Ooh. he came back with me from Africa. That's right. Stood on the steps after we watched the movie Sankofa in my class. We came outside. People were crying in the